How do you feel about server wipes? Me? I don't care at all. As long as I keep my stats. It took me forever to build up these muscles, and it was a pain in the ass. I won't feel dominating anymore if I lose them. I don't want to get stuck looking just sexy. I need them to dominate. Good thing that our server only did a partial wipe, so my muscles aren't going anywhere. On the first day, it was all about looting and getting account balance. Like I always say, it's all about the money. When you get the money, you can go wherever you want and just loot everything you see. You can go to abandoned bunkers, get gears, get weapons, and start finding explosives. After a few days, everything is back to normal. Once you establish a base, you want to mark a bunker and claim it as your own. But how do you claim a bunker? How do you let people know you own it? Well, that's easy. Just point and shoot, and they'll get the message. Did you like that intro? If you did, then give this video a thumbs up. If you want to go to our bunker, you'll have to go through us. One morning, Ragnar noticed that someone was looting inside our bunker and asked us to back him up so we could inform these guys that this bunker is already owned by someone. I don't want to tell you who that someone is because you're already listening to him narrate this story. So let's move on. And just a few steps away from the bunker, Sassy saw the enemy's vehicle. We plan to wait for them to go out, and once they open the door, we blow their heads up. Oh, silent na. Ayan na siya. Sa wall. Kita ko na siya sa wall. Lumagpas na siya sa wall. Ayan na, ayan na siya. Okay. Ayan. Ayan na kita ko. We were waiting for him to open the doors. But this guy wasn't doing it. He was just putting the bags inside the vehicle. We had to wait for another opportunity. Looks like he wasn't done looting yet. I had to move to a different spot to get a better view, but just when I just started moving, the enemy came back. This guy dropped his chest to the ground, but he still wasn't opening the doors. Our trigger fingers were ready to shoot, but we had to wait again until he comes back and opens it. But just when he was about to get more loot, he saw my majestic body and pulled out a gun. We saw that the vehicle had no wheels, and we had no screws, so we had to shoot the doors instead. The rest of the enemy finally came out to try and protect their vehicle. We had to go high grounds, and try to pick him off one by one. We also need to get that chest that Ragnar saw they were carrying. Sassy killed one of the enemy, but this guy wasn't the one holding the chest. They dropped it off somewhere near the fence. So we went back to check on it, and found it right next to a tree. Our goal, get the vehicle along with the loot in it, and get this box too.
But out of nowhere, another vehicle arrived. We had to find out if these are the same enemies we're fighting with. Otherwise, it's going to be a royal rumble. They might have brought another vehicle to get the boxes, or they might have brought more people and guns to fight us off. Pasok nga lang, meron kasi tao dito sa likod ko eh Nag-drag nila yung set papunta dyan sa wall Susunduin niya na, susunduin niya na Thankfully, these were the same guys I think they live close by Meron pa isa ah, meron pa isa Looks like they brought another vehicle for us to take. Nice. I really don't know what they want to do here. Now since we don't have screws or enough ammo to break down doors, I had to go home and get some. Hopefully we get two free vehicles today. So I asked Ragnar to kill me. So after getting everything we needed base, I rushed my way back to my team. But while I was away, the rest of the boys did their best to defend the vehicles. And when I finally arrived, Zai joined us in the fight too, with a very dramatic entrance. I was surprised that these guys weren't giving up yet. At this point, we outnumber them 5 to 3. It's only a matter of time until we get these vehicle doors unlocked. Sassy had some screws, and I hope they're enough to open the doors on these vehicles. A bronze lock. Nice. Can you believe it? Nice. While we were trying to unlock the other vehicle, our enemies are still trying to come back, hoping to get something out of this PvP. Why? After lock picking the second vehicle, we got two boxes. We transferred them over to the truck and decided to leave the other vehicle for them to start over. I guess it's unboxing time. I couldn't wait until we get home and decided to just unlock the boxes right now. Just what we expected. Guns and some TNTs, and more guns. Let's go home where it's safe, so we could check the other bags and see what surprise we get. I don't know how long these guys were there, but there's a lot of explosives and raiding materials inside their stash. What a good day to be alive. If you enjoyed watching this really short scum story, leave a like and consider subscribing. If you have violent reactions, leave it down in the comments section. And don't be shy, become a member of my channel, and have your own sound effect while I stream. See you on the next video.